Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Charles. Uh, <clears throat> I'm just uh, in uh, quarantine in my house, in my son's room since I work in uh, an essential retailer. Um, my wife's making me uh, stay in my son's room. And uh, anyway, I got a few things today. I've got some nice um, fish cock, that's what it's called. I can't say that word, I don't speak uh, Finnish. And then uh, shoka cola. So, you know, I've got a 10 pack of that. So, this is some great stuff just in case uh, you run out of food or I need to go somewhere. I, I, I usually carry some of these in my vehicle just in case I get stuck somewhere um, I also got my Israeli gas mask which actually fits pretty well inside of the Swedish M36 um, gas mask bag uh, since I'm off today I plan on cleaning this thing up I'm not sure if I'm going to sell this on eBay or not I mean I, I can use it obviously for that gas mask but uh it's just not in a great condition to sell now I, I can clean this stuff up and burnish it a little bit but there's some stuff where people you know the soldier or whoever wrote things on here which makes it a little bit less desirable by people and then my the amount of shipping that I'm charged is you know it's kind of prohibitive to sell this thing I don't really need money and I can use this I'm going to try to clean it up We'll see if there's a market for it, but you know, some people might not like some of the uh, handwritten things on this. Although I do see a stamp on here, which I've never seen on any of the other ones that I've had. Um, so some of the stuff I use on a lot of, like these really old things, I mean, this thing's about, you know, 75 years old or older, right? Um, I like this Otoban. This is a 360 uh, neutralizer. Um, this works pretty well. I've used it on my uh, Norwegian patrol packs and it got rid of about 90% of the, the smell pretty quick. You just spray the stuff on and it kind of neutralizes most of it. Um, obviously for the leather, I'll use uh, Open Offs heavy duty LP um, after I'll use Lexol typically to do this sometimes I'll use those uh, can't even think of the name but you know for uh, saddlers we'll use another cream to do that and then I use a microfiber to clean this up um, sometimes I will clean up the fabric as well but that's usually only if it's um, caked with dirt and stuff like that. This doesn't look too bad. And then when you're using canvas like this, um, sometimes it'll make some of the panels. Um, you kind of see here, I, di I didn't clean this, but you see how this is a different color. But sometimes when you wash this with really um, basic detergents, it... it changes the color and, and, and some of them look bad so I don't like to do that too often unless it's very dirty thing this isn't that bad anyway that's what I'm doing in uh, lockdown if you guys have any questions let me know have a good one